Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Stellaris Strategy and Tactics Episode 5. Yes, I know I lost count already. It's probably a new record for how early in a, to a series I lost count of the uh, episode count. But regardless, here we are. And I've got a little promised tutorial for you. Yes, robo-modding. Well, I kind of covered that uh, in a separate video, but I'm going to cover it here um, in in context of our empire here. And kind of the crux as to why we're, we're, we, we, we went so heavily for the bots. So, um, having built our single prototype and unlocked robo-modding, we are ready to create a template. Um, and uh, we want to kind of specialize these guys. So, uh, being that our first line of uh, bots out there um, are, are getting us some food and we are in dire need of more food, we want more harvesters. Uh, but that's just too basic. Yeah, you could just slap some harvesters on them and call it a day. Nah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta lux it up a little bit. We gotta get some more, more goodies. So what we really want to do is flesh out. We got three trait picks, zero points. Let's get some points. We're gonna take luxurious. Now the pop assembly clause. This makes our robotic factory suck up more minerals. That's gonna be pricey, but it's worth it for the extra features that these come with. Uh, allow me to explain. Now, we could also add the drills, make them um, multitaskers, but no, with the bots, we want unitaskers. We want the other perks. Um, the um, uh, We want mass produce. We want these things made quickly um, because pop growth speed and to this end, robot pop growth speed is hugely important. Now, as far as the uh, others go, the... Uh, the um, upkeep versus the um, housing usage we actually either we could go either way with this honestly we could we could um, we could go we could go we could go either way with this we could um, go for the housing usage now or the the upkeep later I think we're gonna go with the upkeep just 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 as a throwback um, we'll call these the uh, uh, the uh, the rat bots, the rat bot, rat bots, rat bot. We'll call it the rat bot um, F model F, just to denote that these are for food. So we got the rat bot F, excellent. Um, we do want to apply the template um, to our uh, our thing here, and then for the time being, we're just going to stick with the Model F. We will make a minor model in due time, but right now we need food more than we need minerals. So uh, let's uh, let's apply this template. Actually, before we do that, let's yeah no, let's apply the template. One robot, boom! It's going to create a project. It's going to be expensive but we just need to make it happen otherwise it's gonna bother me we'll get the aliens going while we're at it uh, the other thing we need to make sure that we're doing here is uh, under population assembling we don't want it uh, assembling any species we want it assembling a ratbot F so that way we don't build any more of the vanilla prototypes um, because for the foreseeable future, for at least six more pops worth, we want this place churning out these. Um, as for you, um, well, we, we need more pops here in general. In fact, let's start shuffling here. Um, we need, because we want our second um, Forge World up and running. Or we want our Forge World, period, up and running. That's, uh, that's kind of what we want here. So we're going to go uh, Larissa Secundus. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, kick over a miner and a technician. Um, and then we can also um, Larissa Prime. We could actually kick over your robot. Um, just to help with the thing, um, 
just to because we did yeah we cooked over that so we can we can hook that up and uh, we can kick over a technician yeah and that's enough to trigger your upgrade status so we will get planetary administration and a second alloy foundry back to back uh, and then after that, we'll uh, we'll have to do something with the amenities because the amenities aren't going to be very good, and we aren't going to immediately have our uh, um, our thing here. So we're going to have to get to 15 population and then get the uh, the extra administrator. But I want to make sure we get both of those in order to trigger the specialization because you need two to make that work for us. Right then. Oops. Well, yeah, that would be. That would be why, because we moved them. Well, at least we didn't waste anything doing that. <laughs> okay, so we are good. Also, we got the last of our uh, system's name for our name and game subs. If you want to add your name to our, uh, our thing here, um, be my guest. Also, we're... Uh, um, exploring this little cluster now uh, now that this little area is kind of blocked off to us for the moment oh one other thing one other thing let's go to our contacts and let's look at these honor bound warriors because yeah now that we have some ships under our name we're backed up to equivalent that makes me feel a little bit better but we want we don't want to be enemies with both of them and these guys are a little bit more likely to be our friends so let's see if we can't warm them up a little bit um, so the border friction we can't do anything about, but the slavery policy is angering them. So of all of our kid glove stuff that we've been doing with our policies, the one we didn't kid glove was the one that's paying for us. Now that being said, we're not actually enslaving anyone now, so we can actually kid glove it. We can say, um, we can change our policy. We can always change it back. But now that should make them, yeah, 10 plus 10 happy with us. Now they're still wary. So let's give them a little gift, shall we? I found that giving a gift of like a thousand minerals is huge in what kind of, of relationship boost you can get out of it while not actually completely destroying your economy just to give a gift. So we're going to offer a trade deal. We're going to say resources. We're going to say minerals. And my friend, would you like, how would you like a thousand minerals? Plus 47, holy crap. Boom. And now they're cordial with us. And now we can do all kinds of fun things. Uh, we can do commercial packs, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can do research agreements, I'm okay with that. Um, they're not so much with the non-aggression agreements, but that's just because they're honor-bound warriors. They don't, they don't really do non-aggression agreements, but they do do defensive packs. We could, we could make a, uh, we could make a defensive pack work for us. Now, the question is, do we want to spend the influence on that? Um... Not really. We can always get into it if I get nervous, but I don't think they're gonna go after our uh, go for our throats. I mean, having the having them have our backs would be a pretty darn good thing, though. Hmm. And we could rivalry up the other place just to get some of that back. Yeah, you know what? Let's do def defensive pack, and we'll pop a rivalry on uh, on the other guys. See what I'm talking about? We can get all this good stuff going here. Border friction and authoritarian tyrants. Yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, we get we get half the defensive pack back for rivaling these guys. So, yeah. Suck it. And they rivaled us back. That's fine. We're good. 
We're good. Anomaly found. System survey. We didn't have to do that, but uh, I don't. Uh, it's good to have a rival. It's good to have a rival. Especially before the. It's just as a way to because the last thing we want is these two guys hooking up like the like what happened with our Dezino's Pizza playthrough, uh, and then having to deal with both of them on either side. That we do not want. Construction project concluded. All right, so you guys are you guys are good. Tuxedo Productions are uh, is now sort of the the place du jour here to uh, to worry about. Now why don't you start hooking up Electra here? Um, I do want to start hooking this area up down here. If anything, down here so we can get the trade. So why don't you start hooking that up? All right, you're you're still doing your thing. I do. What once Maze gets back up again? Ooh, orbitals. Ooh, orbital speed demon. Yeah, let's try to slow that beast down. Let's open it. Cracking open the alien box. System survey concluded. Now, this alien box thing, um, what's this thing? 2000? Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we've completely stopped our research at this point doing uh, special projects, but eh, whatever. We, we, we've gotten all mission critical stuff right now. Oh, and our food's down again. All right, you know what? I think it is time for the, for at least for the moment, uh, food policy, dietary balance, rather than nutritional plentitude. Um, let's just buy another, just so we don't trigger a, uh, a famine. A whiff of something malodorous. You got the stinks. Yep. Control, shift, research. Oh, I love that. I love that so much now. Hmm. Alberan is uh, not too shabby of a system. Special project concluded. Hmm. Burst of society research. That works for me. All that stinkiness will uh, will help us uh, get our stuff going a little bit faster. All right, Electra is online. Um, get those two up, and then the moats will be uh, on their way once we get the tech to extract those. System survey concluded without incident. Soul bar's good. Oof, we're getting we're we're popping anomalies all over the place. Aha. Okay, so. We are now officially at our at our cap here, our uh, uh, our administrative capacity. We don't need to actually. We do kind of need to expand it so we don't hit our um, get any penalties. Uh, the other thing we could do, we could just do the star based upkeep first and then do that last. And why don't we do the star based upkeep? Because we want to finish off expansion so we can get the uh, perks. So we're gonna start getting, start straying into a little bit of a penalty, but it's such, such a minute one. Ugh, ocean world, come on, give me some savannas or something dry, dry anyway. Uh, eye for talent, good, good. Thank you, Rat Queen Famine. Excellent. Glad I kept you around. You're doing us well. All right, so we got that, we got that, and then we'll get this, and that'll let us pick up all that trade value. Speaking of, um, let's, speaking of policies and what have you, actually, you know what, we're going to keep it on that until we get our, uh, finish off our other place, our, uh, our expansion tree and get that, Special get our first, project concluded. uh, space Situation amoebas, eh? Updated. Fair enough. And yes, let me guess, yes, yeah, space amoeba study. Uh, it's going to be worth it, actually. And we might as well. Might as well get all these studies over with now. See, this is why I was considering doing this, because um, these... 
These um, these three plus whatever trade value eventually comes out of Thibbo once that colony develops um, is going to be of interest to us. Construction project concluded. All right. Um, yeah, why don't you come down here? Field manipulation. Um. Um. Oh. Okay. Alright, so you're the one that, that's bouncing around up here. I could actually use you. Uh, why don't you, why don't you do me a favor? Finish surveying this system, and then since you're the, since you're the carefree one at max level, um, research these anomalies for me. Just so we can get them out of the way. System survey concluded without incident. Alright, well we uh, capped out our food. Did we get another bot? I hope we got another bot. No, no, no extra bot just yet, but we're working on it. Construction project concluded. Forge World! Woohoo! Now that's what I'm talking about. Please tell me you are good. You are you you did do the intelligent thing and went for farmer. Map the stars is done. Um you know what? We are still discovering territory that um may fall within our domain, so I'm gonna renew it one more time. Once, uh, once you've, um, once you started, once you've kind of mapped out everything that's probably not going to be your territory, or at least not going to be yours in the near future, then um, you'll you'll want to turn that off because oftentimes anomalies will just make deposits that other empires will get instead of you. Uh, but we're still scanning through stuff that's near and dear to our empire here, stuff that we could reasonably uh, hope to claim into our borders. Um, sooner rather than later, so we do want to keep the uh, anomaly, anomalies flowing. Alright, so you're popping down here. Is this this trade value get, uh, will get va vacuumed up. Yep. And then we can just hook up the, uh, the other goodies here and be on our way. Yes! Oh, that's wonderful. They just rivaled each other, so... Yeah, and now we've got the uh, um, the rivalry thing. Now migration treaty. We could. My venom gland rumbles at joy. We could make use of that because these guys are Arctic. We could really make use of that if we had some food. We need some more food. Actually, you know what? I wonder if we can trade some food with you. Like we got some, uh, we got some goodies. You guys have some food you could spare. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's take a look here. We can give you some of our dark matter if you'd like. No, we don't have uh, we don't have any of that active right now. Um, hundred uh, hundred for well, no, that's advanced for advanced. What about minerals? Yeah, not really worth it. Yeah, to be honest, I mean, what can we get if we just straight up buy it from you? Yeah, we'd be, we'd we'd have a better we'd have better luck at the market. Never mind. But we will consider this migration treaty. Um, if only so that we can we can gra use their people to settle more places. Not the ocean world, not the continental world, not the continent. So you know what? It's not this Arctic world right here. We can grab this Arctic world and grab grab a colony ship from them and settle it. It's actually right in, kind of in our domain, so we might as well. 
but we need more food for that co for that colony ship before we even consider Receiving that. Receiving so. transmission. Oh, you want that now? Oh, sure. I won't turn you down. All right, more deposits. Good, good. Always like those deposits. Initial colonization phase complete. Um, the Athenian regime. Oh no, no, we are not. Uh, we do not want it with sculptication. Those are your minerals. What are you talking about? We ain't gonna steal your stuff. That's just that's just me. Especially to our new friends. Now I hate that this is a brand new sector. We need a new sector governor just for this damn place. Oh, what do we got? Um, yeah, we'll take uh, we'll take one of you. Be a be a new builder here. Wow, you could actually be our uh, our energy world here. No, no planetary specials. Why? Why is there crime? Oh well, because we didn't have a governor here uh, previously. All right. So what do we want to do with this place? That's a good question. We could um, we could get um, get our consumer goods uh, factories going over here. We could also use this place for food. Um, I might actually want to use this place for food, although we're plus 11 now. Why are we plus 11? Did we just have a uh, another bot get constructed? We did. And that bot is the Ratbot F. Produces 7.6. Now here's the other wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, these bureau rats are uh, producing 5.4. They're, um, but they're they're getting their stuff boosted by uh, by 15% because of the ingenious. So this is kind of our, our thing here. The robots do the mining and the farming, and they, based on our specialized designs, will get plus 15 uh, on each of those. The rats. Um, are the one uh, work the uh, technician jobs and yeah we have a couple of clerks they don't specifically get bonuses to doing their clerky things but we're not focusing on clerks that's not our uh, that's not our deal we're not going to be splashing around a lot of trade value um, so that works out beautifully um, and yeah I think we'll continue to work out for us here and once we get our food up and running, we'll be even better. Now our energy's starting to take a little spike. And we get the, we get the, our uh, influence uh, up with them. That's worth way more. That and it gives us a diplomatic bonus to them. So now we are super duper friends with these guys. Like we are, we are bestest of pals, buddies. You know, they're they're all about that. Um, and there's, I don't think, yeah, there's really nothing else we can do with them. Um, nothing at all. And, you know, I, I don't mind, you know, they're not going to pollute our, um, our, our, uh, our population types here. So, yeah, I'm totally cool with being buddies with them and them having our back. Uh, against these, uh, against these guys here. They are hostile. That's fine. Let me uh, let me just take a quick look see here. What planets do they have? Continental world, continental world. Um, there is a desert world on one of their planets, and ooh, a savanna world over there. Um, we would have to kind of totally destroy them to get to those, uh, reasonably speaking, which may be an, eventual, uh, an eventuality that uh, I'm certainly not uh, turning away. Um, we need to decide what we want to do with this place, honestly. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm all for it being a, uh, a, a raw materials world, and actually this is a better generator world than this, um, than this other place. Um, so we might want to, uh, we might want a generator district it up. Of course, we could just do it across the board and, and um, make uh, consumer goods, because then that opens up the possibility for a research world for us. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Although, let's take a look at the Arctic world, since we're going to be colonizing. Uh, yeah, look at this asteroid belt. This is going to be our mining planet right here. 
we, we can bring our robot technology to the frozen world um, and have our, uh, have our, uh, have our allies uh, populate it to, to do the other fleshy uh, type jobs. So I think that's going to work out nicely, which means we need a food world. Um, and this place actually kind of works uh, for a food world better than this place, better than... Actually, this place is a better food world, but we've already turned it into a forge world. So, you know what? We're going to go food world with this place for the moment. Uh, we might pivot that later on, but we're cool with food world. We're going to build them up. We're going to get people on there. We're going to get robots being manufactured. Special project concluded. Okay, so now this used to be um, a lot more powerful. Uh, a lot more powerful. Um, and um, I'm I'm trying to remember what uh, what these things uh, use what they do now. Uh, so you know what I think I'm going to read up on the changes to the alien box before I make my decision. So. Um, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!